ओके वेलकम एवरीवन लेट्स फुल स्टार्ट आवर थर्ड लेसन टूरिज्म पॉलिसी एंड प्लानिंग यूनिट टू व्हिच वी आर डूइंग माय नेम अंजुम सथार ईमेल एड्रेस अंजुम एट ukebus.co.uk इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन प्लीज जस्ट ड्रॉप मी ईमेल ऑन माय ईमेल एड्रेस एंड टुडे बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आवर लेसन रिगार्डिंग एलओ3 लेट्स फुल रीकैप व्हाट वी लर्न इन आवर प्रीवियस लेसंस सो Do you remember anything which we learned during our previous lessons? Uh last lessons we looked at uh evaluating in, evaluating implementation of tourism policies. We also looked at to critically analyze the concepts and theories of public policy for tourism. Was the learning objectives. Great. So that you know we learn about LO1 and LO2. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So today focusing on our LO3. And what what is the planning? What is why is the planning? Planning. Why do we plan? Yes. Are we plan we plan to achieve a, a certain goal or objective we want to do in the future. Excellent. So first lesson we discuss be able to critically analyze the concept and the theory. public policy for tourism second we discuss critically evaluate the implementation third we are doing analyze the theories and the concept tourism planning and uh, we have three assessment criteria critically evaluate the different approaches to tourism planning critically assess how external internal micro and macro environment which will go through and evaluate the extension of tourism plan so how we can ex- execution of a tourism plan how we can um implement you know plan so all inductive contents what we supposed to do so today we looking all about implementation and evaluation so how we can evaluate how we can implement so that's you know we can look around today lesson so let's move back to our lesson so so Welcome everyone. My email address there in case if you need me. Uh, we have a three assessment criteria which we will go through and the planning. Planning is very very important. Plan where we are, where we want to be. Plan have three types of planning. Normally we do in uh, in any sort of business, either tourism or we doing uh, any other manufacturing or any other businesses. so planning we do strategic plan long term plan we do uh, departmental planning as well and we do operational plan operational plan at the front desk as of when we deliver the activity so that's called operational plan so planning is the process of setting goals goals what are the goals the goals mean the objective what really you want to achieve end of the activity so end task what really you want to be achieved so to the lesson end of the task is to achieve our learning outcome 3 and know about learning outcome 3 selecting an alternative course of action so why we do plan we make a decision about and selecting the best course of action those will help to achieve our goals implementation the chosen alternative and evaluating the choices to find out successfulness mm-hmm. so we'll look at and the planning is the key success of any activity if you don't have a plan is plan is a set map to provide you guidance where you are and where you want to go uh, so planning always work with control if you have a plan but no control control is evaluation looking back and looking so i planning planning for so we reflect what's happened in the past and we can plan for the future in tourism and the success is neither guarantee for nor permanent so we need to be look around many areas as experience tourism cycle that which start with the few rich visitor proceed through a series of expansion program attain saturations and then go into decline so we know life cycle of product and the service as well growth maturity decline right uh, maturity and decline 
so in eventual uh, in we decline is to be avoided how we can avoid the decline decline is carry on happening but think about when the credit crunch 2010 2008 start and then lot of industry lot of companies closed in that period mm -hmm. so that credit crunch really impact you know that decline but many companies they diversify so we discuss one of uh, lesson i think so i mentioned you as well porter generic strategy according to the michael porter he for generic strategy one is called cost leadership second is a differentiation third is a cost focus and fourth is a differentiation focus you can lease cost like a budget hotel you can be a different creation like you know the holiday in marriott and various you can provide totally different uh, facilities or the product which your competitor not offering you you can mm -hmm. quite, quite diversify so you can plan it to reach at that point you not decline so you carry on regular because the plan always need to be changed according to the environment you make a pd plan what you will do in 5 years but always reflecting what is happening in the micro environment and the management are essential any question uh, no then we have approaches of tourism planning there are the number of approaches so first we looking for four approaches tourism planning destination level can be recognized according to the value and the sport planning are the policies activities into so first is a boost boost tourism how we can boost things so mm -hmm. economic how we can boost profit uh, are we reduce the cost economics physical what is the location physical and uh, how we can how we can choose plan community oriented how we can put because it's a crs corporate social responsibility as a hotel or like other organization how we can uh, help communities destination community is tourism and development and experience so then those four approaches and additional approach sustain sustainable planning e tourism planning approach differ to underlying the example show the planning so we need to look around so trend and weaknesses play in the tourism development the following describe we can look around different approach mm -hmm. yes boost tourism is one of uh, a tourism planning approach so have attitude towards the tourism development attitudes what is our attitude towards we hate you know we not really like uh, nobody is supposed to in our country so if we start hating what will be happen in tourism industry we want to be rich we want to be hate so it can't be because it can't be balanced and we don't have any legislation in place mm -hmm. giving equal opportunity giving the equality diversity or various other legislation so we really we're not going to achieve what we're supposed to be which is inherently good so we need to be look around will provide the benefits to host destination we need to involve the local stakeholder that this is our benefit that's why we are doing it so we can engage we can deliver the message anybody can welcome yes right yeah and so that's culture we need to create you know so this approach is categorized as being the part of attitude development growth is the good or the negative impact on the tourism development dominated the positive benefit we need to oh immigration is bad immigration is bad immigration is bad but we need to promote immigration is a good because if we don't have a foreign investment there won't be economics growth because there won't be economics growth of course what will be happen so if we don't have exchange between country or trade arrangement in place so what will be happen every country say no i am enough my own so it can't be really of course we need to look around the cause and benefit analysis we have to do but we need mm -hmm. to look around primary planning problem is one of how attracts many people as a positive to given location or the destination boosterism approach how doesn't take into account involve the host community in the decision making process planning and the policies process surrounding the tourism development we need to be look around surrounding development yet it is still been adopted by the government and politician to promote tourism growth regional economic diversification and employment creation so towards the tourism is seen as a give benefit host destination community can bring higher standard of destination improve yeah. the quality of life 
like you know if we look turkey if we look um, cyprus if we look various other destination yes so mm-hmm. that's due to the tourism tourism development could improve the quality of life as it supports creation of community facilities and services yeah. through providing the better and upgraded infrastructure so we need to look around infrastructure facilities service transport like hs2 like if we look in um, various business park you know the opening in different part of the world uh, mm-hmm. like in dubai burj khalifa uh, these are you know attraction places is a huge investment required mm-hmm. like petrona tower in uh, malaysia uh, in direct benefit of tourism development also increase job opportunity toward the whole community and at the same time boost up the country economy <clears throat> however <clears throat> at the hand since the port does not involve the resident of the tourist destination in tourism development plan and policies and decision making process thus there will be a lack of public or the community participation in local development so we need to be look around those if we don't development tends to be benefit more on the government instead of the local community because the community has no power so we need to be give them power yes Mm-hmm. because that's why the local stakeholder government can make the plan but maybe the local community concern we need to address as well All right we looking economics so planning of economic in the industry oriented approach so how many industries can be linked with this tourism yes economically yeah. can be benefit like you know the local farm local culture local uh, trade local agriculture is approach aim to promote the economic growth and development destination as well apply to you the marketing and the promotion that track visitor the economics mm-hmm. approach emphasizes more on the economic impact on the tourism more efficient effective use of create income and employment benefit so that's we really want local income local people local approach local right. goods promote yes local culture mm-hmm. local traditions local product we can sell so create the contribution to the local economy yes some weakness is this approach they doesn't take into account of environmental they focus on economic but they they not maybe focus on social issue maybe that local culture will be transformed yes local culture will be is changing so all this yeah. we need to look around maybe we looking economic side but we not low because every every decision have some impact you know so that's we need to look around then we look around exactly the same physical tourism planning consider tourism as, as a form of land use yes how we will manage the land physical our mm-hmm. physical resources so we need to look around how much we are using maybe we are using up and we don't have any space like in the really space now they want to but how much they even in the middle of the sea how much you can expand it Right. So we need to look around those you know can be physical risk you know in in term of so this approach is not really counting some other impact that can be social and cultural as tribute to destination weakness mm-hmm. of this approach in the building capabilities are being controlled thus the economical destination unable to maximize the profit from the result of inability to f- so we don't have a land we don't have there is a high man what you will do yes it can mm-hmm. be negative impact yeah it is so we need to look around the community tourism planning as well on the social and political acts we need to occur advocate greater local community control so maybe we'll say local business local control yes local investors yeah. Yeah. So we give them more opportunity ah yes foreign investor can come maybe we can input some taxes to protect the local or we can inject money or give loan free to the local but the foreigner can come and do business as well so that's a healthy competition will be community planning approach implies the high degree of public participation that we can look around like other approach every approach have some advantages and some disadvantages which we can look around there yeah. mm-hmm. sustainability what is meant by sustainability uh 
I usually uh, I think it revolves around the environment, sustaining the environment, not using up too many resources. Uh, yes, sustainability is not just environment. We can look around three P's. If you want to be sustainable business, sustainable mm -hmm. planning, you need to be focused three P's. You need to focus profit. If you don't earn the profit, you buy all electric car, but you don't have a profit, so you can't sustain it. Yes, right. because you're carrying too much rent, profit, and people. So three P, we need to care about profit, planet, and people. Yes, if we don't do it, we can't really sustain it. So that's we right. need to be looked around. And then we have a different approaches further and techniques with system approach, comprehensive approach, integrated approach, environmental sustainability approach, community approach, implementable approach, and systematic approach. These are systematic approach required adequate information. If you don't have information, you don't have. So first we say data. If you keep mm -hmm. the data, if you process the data, it's become a information. And if you have a information, it's become knowledge. And on the, if you make the decision on the base of the knowledge, that will be more effective. That's a systematic approach. Comprehensive approach, aspect of the tourism are in a lies and plan on the broad scope. Comprehensive, yes, broad scope, the approach right. we can use. Integrated approach, tourism is planned and developed as an integrated system itself and integrated into overall plan and development in the local area, yes? So mm -hmm. all of this, if you transport and the tourism, pubs and bars, local right. universities integration, so that's all we need to. Environmental and sustainable approach, tourism is planned, developed, managed such a way the natural and the cultural resources are not used up to that they're available for continuous and permanent use in future. Maybe we are run out, so we need to be planet sustainable in those sense as well. Yes, environment and community approach, of course, we need to be involved community like earlier we've discussed. Implementable approach, tourism plan, policies and recommendation are expressed in a practical and achievable manner. So we give the cost and benefit analysis. Not we saying the Brexit will bring this and without facts and figures. Mm -hmm. So we need to look around in economics perspective and we need to look around in the social perspective, yes? So all perspective and the cost and benefit analysis. Systematic approach tourism planning is based on orderly arrangement, first six months, then next year, next year yes, is a systematic. Right. Not you say, you know, you will be maximum 100% your profit will increase next year. That's not a systematic mm -hmm. approach. Then next we look in environments. We have a two types of environment. One we call micro. Micro is called internal environment. Other is called mm -hmm. macro. Macro is external environment. Micro, internal within organization, culture, policies. We can control. We can change. We can change the layout. We can change the color. Whatever. We can change the shift pattern. We can recruit more staff. We can recruit less staff. It's up to us. But external environment, that's called macro. We can't control it. We have to adjust it. Yes. So political stability, tax policies, program, forthcoming legislation, employment law, dominant uh, political ideology, like between conservative and labor and various other, you know, in different country, different political parties. Economics, inflation rate, exchange rate, economic growth, taxation, unemployment, all we need to look around. Social factor, education, living condition, trends in fashion and taste, religious belief and employment patterns, all we need to look around. Technology, we need to look around the investment in research and development, changes in information technology, changes in mobile technology, speed of technology, obsolescence, and impact of technology transfer, all we need to look around in the thorough perspective, all right. in the long run perspective. Any question? Okay, next we uh, doing when we do the planning, we can uh, I copied the link underneath as well, like in New Zealand when they plan, you know, there. So what they look around, how they plan. So what we need to be look around. Organization, of course, when we do the tourism planning, we have a committee and the forum. Okay. Yes, before you start your planning, community yeah. tourism readiness, we need. Then we need the research. We need situational analysis, situation, environment, internal, external, yes? Right. Where we base 
EU policy and all foreign policy, WTO and various other, yeah? All we need to look around. Features, opportunities and constraint. Opportunities and constraint mean limitation. We have a limit on the resources. So we need to be look around how effectively we can use. Market analysis, we need to look around how many young popul population there is growing. Yes? How yes. much flight is growing? How much technology is growing? I'll... <laughs> Then action planning, uh, we need to look around tourism, IDPs, yes, yeah. independent development programs and organizations. All we need to look around, VN's goals and objective, we need to review pathways, action plan program, physical policies, we need to be, yes, we need to mm -hmm. prioritize the things, what we'll do. Implementation right. and monitoring, indication uh, monitoring and evaluation is very so if you look and go back to planning and evaluation so we can produce weekly report monthly report don't need to be do the at the end of the year you produce one report look your oh there is a big variance you plan something you not achieve it but yeah. you need a continuous approach to look around identify the variance is it a favorable or is it adverse is it back it's giving you benefit or not I copied right. the last, you know, last lesson one video as well. Yes, which is mm -hmm. good to look around. I copied the link, which is yeah. do a bit quiz. The quiz is all about the planning. Huh? Okay. So let's we'll quick play. I try to be keep you know the simple and uh, not too much stuff you know to put it to the lesson. But this you know will address our what we're supposed to do. Okay. So that's can you see now? Yeah, now I see. Okay. Let's see. Now. So person responsible for use and manage of the budget it is called. So budget and plan. Budget. You plan okay. something, you don't have a budget. So we're looking in a business perspective. Mm -hmm. What we can call is it a budget manager, budget holder, financial accountant, or budget control? Uh, I think between the accountant or the budget manager, I think it depends how big the business is, but I'm not sure. So, so let's say budget is not to no. go through. The startup to produce expenditure budget, huh? it need to estimate what we need to estimate. Work with mm. any budget you make, you start with your, what your forecast for future. Huh? Yeah, I would say you're so expected. Let's maybe your selling price. Expected, expected selling price. No, nope. it should be likely. You know, the your sale forecast come always fell. So if mm -hmm. the economic growth slow, sale will be slow. All your activities will be slow. So budget is the best described as a what we call budget. The financial plan or the historical record of performance, cash forecast or plan for business costs? A plan for business costs? Maybe. Or a financial plan. Okay, that's the mm -hmm. financial plan for future. Mm -hmm. Common limitations startup budget is limitation, yes. Customer will yeah. be complained. Market research will be unavailable. New product really at the cash flow are predictable. Which one you think limitation? Market research may be unreliable. Yes, well done. Correct. Start of profit budget is simply difference between. Don't worry, it's just, you know, boost the concept if we can think about when we do plan. Huh? Mm -hmm. Which one you think? Cost and expenditure budget or is it? Yeah, uh, yeah, the first one. Or the last one. First one or the last one. Oh, mm. no problem. We'll go. Start of expenditure is concerned with the... The cost of the business. Yes, well then Excel related to the commission payment would be under which budget? Commission sale related uh, expenditure. Sale sale budget? 
No uh, expenditure. I was you just said that. Yeah, sorry, I would pick the, wrong, uh, pick the wrong one. A common reason why startup budget is exceeded. Why is the budget? Uh, unanticipated. Uh, maybe unanticipated costs. Okay, that's correct. These is a statement. Is it is incorrect? Huh? A useful control and costs often provide inaccurate, should cover both sales and cost, and much shows the profit in a year. Which one is wrong? Uh, the last one. Well done. And the startup budget based on the optimistic views, possible sales is also. Pessimistic mm -hmm. is overestimate or underestimate? Is it maybe overestimate customer loyalty? Okay, so no problem. We review. Uh -huh. So first, it should be budget holder. Huh? All right. Okay. Then the second one is a likely the sales and production, yes, because we, we if we have a four, four we reduce more. Mm -hmm. Correct, correct. Fifth, I think so. You already said it, yes. Sales and expenditure, which uh, I sure, yeah. take the wrong and cost, which you said right. Expenditure budget, huh? commission would be. Include in the expenditure budget. Expenditure, yes. And anticipated, you said well. Last, you said well. Yes. Last is underestimate cost. Huh? Costs, right. That's why okay. I use about, huh? Because you're too much, huh? You're not looking one side. Any question? Yeah. Uh, no, no. Okay, so that's all you know. Today we learn about what is the budget, what is the budget control. We discuss about planning, and uh, we critically link with it. And different approaches of planning. We assess an internal, external environment, and we lo look around the execution of plan. And I copied the link for is the New Zealand one. They plan and how they look and how they evaluate it. Yes, right. How it they equate the plan. So that's all about today's lesson. In the next lesson, we will go through our LO4, which is learning outcome for the first LO, okay. and then we'll go through the assignment. We'll look, you know, how we can address each and every task. Sure. Uh, have a nice weekend, a bit left. And sorry, it's not all about asking, you know, Roman to put my all lessons under one link so at least I know where the yeah. links are and to whom I need to so that's you know which will will address this issue and I hope so I'll speak to you all you know by next lesson okay guys anybody any question drop me email on my email address anjum at ukversity.co.uk and hope so I will speak to you all have a nice time and speak to you all by next week thank you bye bye thank you uh,